Yeah, um, I think the cool thing about our staff is we, we work in, in an ecosystem. So, you know, one day Mark might be with me, the next he might be with Jay, and then another day he might be with Coach Carowell. And he's such a, a unique talent, uh, you want to put him, you don't want to limit him to where he is on the floor. Uh, he's really smart, um, and so I think one of his biggest skills is just being a basketball player. Um, he can do so much on the court, uh, and he knows how to cut, he knows how to play, he knows how to read screens. Uh, he is super athletic, uh, so him going to the glass, he's uh, really, really good in transition um, and can finish at the rim. He'll be a guy that gets fouled a lot, uh, driving people, taking off the dribble, and then he's a really good passer. Um, so for me, it's just a lot of skill work, not limiting his game, uh, making sure that he can do any and all things on the court and that he's comfortable doing it. Um, he already does a lot of things at a high level, so it's just you know fine tuning that. Um, of course, working on his shot, um, but just getting him ready to, to play a, a, a really big role. Um, we have a, a, a lot of young and a ton of freshmen, and it's okay that they're freshmen now. But you know, when we get into the thick of the season, there you're not going to be. Able, I don't think you're going to be able to tell who our freshmen are versus our seniors, and that's how you want it. Right. You want everyone to be at, at a good level. Right. If I can follow up on that. How important is his defensive switching ability to what you guys want to do with the defensive side of the ball, just generally? Oh, like it, it, it's incredible. It makes your life easier yeah. um, because he could, he should be able to guard one through four, and if you know teams go so small, he should be able to guard a five. Um, I wouldn't limit him defensively. Uh, he's long. I already said he's smart. He's tough. He can move his feet really well, and he competes. And I think the biggest thing, one of the biggest thing about you know defense is competing in multiple efforts. Of course, there's technique. Um, but if you compete and you don't give up on plays and you go from one thing to the next in a stance uh, with a good mindset, uh, you, you have a, a pretty good chance of being a solid defender. And I think he, he has all those things. Is Jeremy ready to leave this team? For sure. I mean, the steps he's taken, uh, I'm really close with Jeremy. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, that's my guy. I spent you know, all last season with him. And you know, I think what he did in, in the tournament uh, up into where he is now, he's he was unbelievable then, but he's taken an even bigger jump, and he wants to be. And I think that's the big, the biggest thing. He has um, embraced that, and so still coming along. Uh, I wouldn't want him to be where he needs to be today, because uh, he still has so much room to improve. Uh, but he is—he's uh, a big-time player. I'm excited to to see him and watch him this, this season. With the addition of, Co of Coach Lucas to the roster, like what kind of new perspectives do you think he's brought and how's it been working with him so far? Yeah, I, I love him. Uh, he has a wealth of knowledge. Um, he's been at the you know, biggest programs. Um, he, he's coached big time talent. Um, and none of our coaches have any ego. Uh, you know, I, I lean on him for a ton. Uh, he's been doing it for a decade, um, you know, coaching. And so, uh, I built a great relationship with him. Uh, I know his father, uh, I know his family, I know his brother. His brother was uh, my coach when I played for the Timberwolves. Um, so, you know, the, the Lucas family is an amazing family. He has roots here in Durham. And then, you know, he was a heck of a player. So it's cool that he can still get on the court and show our guards and, and be with them. Um, so, you know, it's a big gift for us. Uh, and I really love working with him being close with Jeremy, how rewarding was it last year to see him kind of go through some of the struggles he did and then break out at the end of the year? It was big time um, because one thing about Jeremy is he's a hard worker. He's a gym rat. He, he, um, he loves this game and you know, uh, I love this game. So to see somebody who shares that um, you know, is, is a beautiful thing and, and that's where we, we find common ground in our love of, of, of basketball. So, you know, him texting me, you know, hey, I want to work out early mornings, late nights. It's really cool to see that stuff pay off because um, one thing about him, he's going to get in the gym.